Okay guys, so we are now ready to unbox this DJI OM4 SE and I think this version is different from the DJI OM4 lang kasi it has an extension here which is SE so hindi ko lang alam kung anong meaning yung SE by the way, this is my first time to have a gimbal for smartphone so therefore, I am not really familiar dun sa mga previous version for uh, DJI gimbal and basically, this is the color of the gimbal. It is gray. Uh, the purpose of this is for stabilization. So this is a smartphone stabilizer. So at the bottom part, meron siyang DJI Care. So nakalagay dyan, it has two replacements, accident coverage, express option, and free shipping also. So maybe if you want to purchase this, do mismo sa store nila, so they could apply this uh, free shipping. So this product is made in... China, so nakalagay dito. And at the left side, you have the content of the box. So we have the DJI OM4 SE. Then it has magnetic phone clamp, storage pouch, power cable, grip tripod, wrist strap, and of course the manuals. Then naka-indicate sa baba the smartphone is not included dito sa box mismo. So at the right side, you have the logo of the DJI. And that's it. So, wala namang mga sulat dito sa taas. Uh, by the way, sa likod, you have these uh, pictures and some of the features of this gimbal create magnetic moments. So, sa features, it has magnetic quick mount, foldable and portable, active track 3.0, quick roll, gesture control, and a story mode. So, by the way, hindi ko compare yung mga old versions ng DJI kasi uh, I think this DJI version na ito is more advanced because it has a magnetic quick mount which is more convenient sa pag lagay ng smartphone dun mismo sa gimbal. So I think before they are still using those screw, I think we are now ready to open this box. So once you open this, meron siyang nakalagay na parang box din dito sa taas. So create magnetic moments. And dito sa may taas na part, meron lang siyang mga instruction on how to put the clamp dun mismo sa uh, smartphone. So you can download the application na gagamitin natin for this gimbal dun sa Play Store or sa App Store. So this gimbal is supporting um, Android and of course iOS. So I think eto siyang gimbal na to is designed for iOS. So meron mga features sa iOS na wala sa Android. So later I will going to put emphasis to that. So sa maliit na box na to, nakalagay yung pouch. So this is the pouch. Ito yung pouch. So maliit lang siya. And good thing na hindi masyadong malaki. Of course, they need to create this pouch based on the size of the gimbal. And I think this is just enough na mailagay doon mismo sa mga maliliit na bags. And that's very convenient to bring gimbal while you are going to some other places na gusto mong mag-create ng videos and so on or you want to create vlogs. So this is the wrist strap. So nilalagay siya dito, banda, sa kamay while holding the gimbal and ito nilalagay doon mismo sa uh, gimbal. This is just a protection para in case na mahulog yung gimbal so at least hindi siya malalaglag. Uh, based on my observation guys, dun sa mga DJI OM4, they have this other option to clamp the smartphone dun mismo sa gimbal. So nilalagay mismo dun sa likod ng phone yung magnet instead of using that clamp. So hindi ko siya nakita dito sa my DJI OM4 SE. So siguro exclusive lang yun dun sa mga previous version ng uh, gimbal. But this box has clamp na pwedeng ilagay mismo dito sa uh, phone. And I think that is better compared to that other option for the magnet. Kasi yung other option nilalagay yung magnet dito mismo parang dinidikit siya. So meron siyang adhesive na nilalagay. And I think it will affect siguro mismo yung surface ng phone. So better to use the clamp na lang kasi nakukuha siya after you use the the phone dun mismo sa uh, gimbal. So aside from the pouch and the strap so meron siyang mga manuals na nakalagay dito. So ito yung mga manuals ng DJI OM4 SE. So yan. 
So if you may encounter some problems regarding the gimbal, so you could check the manual or kapag hindi kayo masyadong marunong mag-operate. So still, you may check this one para you will be guided on how to operate this uh, gimbal. So yan. Yun yung mga content ng maliit na box na to. So I think wala nang laman. So after that, yung gimbal na mismo. So we have here the tripod. So nilalagay siya dun mismo sa my bottom part ng gimbal para in case na gusto mo siyang patayuin. So nilalagay lang siya pa ganyan. And at least protected yung gimbal para hindi siya uh, matumba. So aside from this uh, tripod, so we have here the power cord para ma-charge natin yung uh, gimbal. So we have here the silica gel para maging dry lang yung condition ng box. And ito yung sinasabi kong clamp. So itatry natin ito mamaya dun sa mismong smartphone ko. So medyo matibay siya and nandito yung magnet and ito yung itatapik natin dun mismo sa gimbal later. And we have also like this kapag medyo maliit yung phone natin and meron siyang gap na nakikita. So nilalagay siya dito uh, before you put this dun sa likod ng part ng uh, smartphone. And ito na mismo yung gimbal natin. So based on my observation, so okay naman yung bigat niya. And hindi ko siya makompare dun sa mga previous version kasi nga uh, this is my first time to buy uh, gimbal. So pinanood ko lang dun sa store kung paano inoperate yung gimbal. So you can just pull this up para magamit natin. So this is how it look like after pulling up yung portion na nilalagyan ng smartphone. And we are now ready to put the smartphone dito sa uh, gimbal natin. But before that, let's put first the tripod para maipatayo natin ang gimbal later. So dito nilalagay yung tripod. So medyo madali lang ilagay. And you can spread this then tatayo na yung gimbal natin. And it's safe. So ito na yung itsura niya guys. So before we put the smartphone, punta muna tayo dun sa application. So kailangan mong i-download dito sa smartphone mismo itong uh, DJI Mimo. So yan, DJI Mimo. And tinry ko siyang i-download sa Play Store. And hinanap ko yung DJI Mimo. So yan. So hindi ko siya nakita dito. So yung gin ginawa ng sales agent dun sa store mismo is nag-search lang siya ng DJI Mimo dito sa Google. So yan. And nandito na yung DJI Mimo Download Center. So click lang yan. Then you can download na. Download Android APK. So ito na yung link niya para ma-download yung application. Then after that you need to sign up doon mismo sa application using your email address. Then you put password. Then that's it. So we can now uh, use this app. But of course you need to activate it first. So sa app, we cannot use this directly kapag walang connection. And of course we need to turn on the Bluetooth. Uh, by the way guys, bago natin i-turn on yung uh, gimbal, so ilagay mo na natin itong clamp dito mismo sa phone natin. And kailangan natin tanggalin itong casing. So, ayan. And try to see lang itong arrow na red. So, dapat ganun yung position natin, paakyat. So, we need to put here dito muna then stretch lang natin or pull lang natin dito na side and make sure na nakalagay siya sa my center you can actually push this up so yan so ito yung nasa likod make sure na okay yung placement niya. So, the good thing about this gimbal is magnetic siya. So, hindi na masyadong mahirap 
mag-connect ng smartphone dito sa uh, gimbal mismo. So, ito lang yung gagawin natin. Itatap lang natin siya dito mismo sa my circle na to. And, that's it. Tapos na. Para ma-on itong gimbal, so, i-press na natin itong power button. Itong my M dito banda. So, ito siya. Press 1. Then, kapag umilaw, then another press na long press para ma-fully on natin itong gimbal. Press. Umilaw, then isa pang press So yan So ito na yung orientation Ng phone natin And it is in portrait Na orientation Now since we are doing some uh, Videos na ina-upload sa YouTube So dapat naka uh, landscape siya So in order to do that We will just going to press this The same button Itong button na M Twice One, two So yan So, yan na yung um, orientation natin in landscape. And we can now start making some uh, videos. So, you have two options in recording some videos. So, you can use the DJI na Mimo app or you can just use the camera application na nandun na mismo sa phone natin. Okay guys, so in using the DJI Mimo na app, so we will just turn on. So, we can now proceed to the application, the DJI Mimo. So, yan. And click lang natin itong icon na to for the camera. So searching. So this one we need to connect. So that's it. We are now ready to make videos using this uh, camera from the DJI uh, Mimo. So the disadvantage of this lang kasi since I'm using Android, you cannot select the frames per second so say for example the default is 1080p 30fps so I cannot change the frames per second to 60 yung pinakarason bakit bumili ko ng gimbal kasi I want 1080p 60 frames per second na resolution while recording video gamit yung smartphone ko na Xiaomi Mi 10T but in my smartphone, 1080p 60fps, including the 4K 60fps, wala siyang image stabilization or electronic image stabilization. So that's why I decided to buy a gimbal. So in using this application, the DJI Mimo, as I tried to check the resolution, I cannot modify the frames per second. So I think this application is useless in my part kasi I cannot use 1080p 60 or in rear camera or yung sa back camera still I cannot use 1080p 60 and of course the 4K 60 frames per second. So I decided to just use the camera application of my phone instead of this. And since you are just using the camera applications meron mga application dun sa DJI Mimo na hindi mo magagamit just using this camera application ng smartphone. Using this camera application sa smartphone, you cannot use this button. But, you can use this um, trigger na nandito sa likod. Ito siya. You just tap this three times. Then, ma-change na yung camera natin from front to uh, back. One, two, three. So, yan. One, two, three. So, front. So, yun lang yung magagamit natin if we were going to use the camera application. And aside from that, kapag hindi na-balance itong camera natin not horizontally oriented, so you, you can just uh, make it double tap para bumalik siya sa example like this, na tilt siya, then double tap. So, yan. So, it will now be horizontally oriented. Again, and of course, you can use this joystick para mag-maneuver ng uh, phone natin, example uh, pushing this to the right, so yan yung mangyayari to the left, yan then pushing this up, so bababa yung camera, then pushing this down so yan, you can still use the joystick, then kapag gusto mo ng horizontally oriented so just double tap the trigger 1, 2 so yan, yun yung mga features na pwede natin magamit using the camera application and I think uh, okay naman kasi at least you could still use the 1080p 60 frames per second 
instead of using the application na nakalimit lang talaga siya dun sa 30 frames per second. So sa application, meron siya mga features like for example, tinatrack niya yung uh, tao. So let's go back to the application. So we will just go into tap once dun sa trigger. So yan, as you can see, meron na kayong makitang um, parang tracking square dyan na in green frame. So kung saan ka pupunta. So yung phone is tracking your face kahit sa ang direction. So that's the good thing about the application na uh, uh, DJI Mimo. But since I want sometimes to record in 1080p 60 frames per second, so I cannot use this uh, application. But instead, I will just go to the camera uh, application of my smartphone. So anyway guys, I will not go into detail dun sa mga features na application and how to use this uh, gimbal camera. So I will going to dedicate another video for that. So maybe we will going to try the stabilization of this gimbal. Stabilization of the video using this gimbal in, the, in my next uh, video. So as of now, I just uh, showed to you the content of the box. So basically just unboxing for this video and of course how to set up or how to put this smartphone dito mismo sa uh, gimbal natin. Okay, so I think I will going to stop here and let's see na lang kung ano yung performance ng gimbal na to once I try this outdoor. Like uh, example, I want to go to some places na medyo challenging yung road and para matry talaga natin yung capability ng gimbal when it comes to stabilizing a uh, video so i hope you learned something from this video if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel click the bell button for notification of comments suggestions or recommendations you may write down in the comment section below okay guys so see you in my next video bye bye